So, all right. So this, I've got the um, the download. This is the Slingshot VM. It might be a slightly different version than what you have, but it's, it's there. Um, then inside of the downloads, after that finishes, um, that should be should be there. Uh, and so I can just unzip that um, tilde downloads and then now. So this is inside of the subdirectory I'm moving into at sans index Perl script. So inside of here, I know that you've looked at this already. So the readme has the information about this. But the important part is this make index PL script, which is the um, the script that runs stuff. Now, I used to write a lot of Perl. Um, I used to write actually a ton of Perl for a place that I worked. But that was, I don't know. Um, 20 years ago, like literally 20 years ago. <laughs> so so uh, this is just kind of the, you know, at that time, this was the programming language that I used a lot. You also see this, I wrote this one in 2009, um, the all wrongs reversed. It's actually a reference to, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, the, the arrays and stuff can get really, re really confusing. So the all wrongs reversed is a reference to a um, Yola Tango album. Um, Yola Tango is a band that I think that they're popular. I have no idea if music is popular or not, but it's actually uh, President Yola Tango New Wave Hot Dogs is an early album of theirs. And the um, the standard language that goes into a lot of stuff, it says all rights reserved. And they have that on their language on their uh, on their album. It says all rights reserved. But then after that, it says all wrongs reversed, you know, kind of like a play on the uh, word. So I just put that in there. I don't know what it means legally, but <laughs> who, knows, who knows what happens? Maybe I have a legal obligation to reverse all wrongs after. Um, anyway, I don't think all rights reserved. That's what that was supposed to read. It's a mistake. So anyway, um, I have some variable declarations in here. And then I have this word list um, a equals zero, which all that I'm doing, this is a, like a lazy way of establishing the indexed array. I could have done it through declarations, but this is just a lazy way of doing it. Um, sloppy, lazy, whatever you want to call it. So then the next thing I do here is scalar basically takes the number of arguments. Scalar converts the, that, um, that array into a, um, a number. So it says if there aren't any arguments, then you have to tell people what they need to do. Otherwise, you're going to take the list of files. So it, it takes the um, file list, it splits it based on spaces. So this is taking the stuff that's arguments that are passed in. So you can pass one or more files to be able to, to be indexed. And so then um, it's it's basically dealing with the uh, the stuff that gets passed in um, in order to uh, in order to address this. You end up with an array um, called file list. And so when we shift an array, we basically take the first value um, from the array, remove it from the array, and the result is returned. And when something is returned, it gets put into the uh, the variable here, in this case, file name that we're going to use. So then it's saying the while in file, um, which it opened here as a file handle to the file name that we shifted off of the array. So arrays are just blocks of, you know, of values. And we can shift, which says take the first one off of the array and modify the, re the array as a result. We can also pop arrays. So popping an array takes the value off of the end. Right. So um, I'm just taking them in order from the begin from left to right on the uh, on the command line. Now, it has some um, debug stuff here in order to be able to troubleshoot this, but we're going to print the value um, here. It's going to um, and, and I'm sorry, we're going to print the value only if debug is not equal to zero, which we set as a variable way up here. So you get more output if you change this variable. It doesn't help us for the purpose of, of what we're doing right now. Um, what you asked about was lowercasing um, the values, which is what I do on purpose in order to make it so that the index that gets created is case insensitive. And it was a choice that I made, you know, for a reason where I basically said I want to eliminate 
case so that if as I'm typing, I have things in varying case, but they're actually the same word, um, then what I'm going to do is uh, is set it up so that I just eliminate those differences. OK, so um, I'm going to modify this script and it's a pretty simple modification um, that I need to do in order to do this. When I change scripts, I tend to um, do it this way where I'm going to add a comment. So I'm adding this comment character on the original and then I'll do something like this. Um, modified 2021, 02, whatever today's date is, 24th maybe. Yeah, 24th um, CC. And then much later, I'll go back and be like, did I change that? That's weird. I thought it did this other thing. Okay. Now, um, the, and this is hard to discern if you don't understand the, um, the Perl, but here, what I'm doing in this dollar sign word assignment is LC. So this LC function is operating on the pop function, which is operating on the temp array. So um, what's happening here is it's processing the file, right? And it's doing some um, shifts inside of here. So this at temp equals split, and it's splitting the value. It takes each line and it splits the line content based on semicolon. Why? Well, because that's what I said we needed to do in terms of the uh, in terms of the input. So it splits the value on semicolon and it puts that into an array. And then it takes the first item from this and assigns it to a value called page num. Why? Well, because the way that the data is intended to be structured is you take the first line, I'm sorry, you take each line and the first value on the line is the page number. And then you take all of the subsequent values that are also on that line. And that's what this while loop is doing here. So after we get the page number, we're processing the rest of the data with this while loop. And inside of this while loop, we're lowercasing it for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. So now I'm going to change from the original and just remove the LC function. Good. Now word equals pop, not lowercase. And this will loop over the rest of the lines in there. So let me just, uh, I'm gonna save this. So I'm, do, I'm using VI, so I'm gonna do colon WQ in order to, uh, to save it. I'm gonna chmod 755, make index.pl good and now i'm just going to run this um, to make sure that it doesn't blow up and i have some sample data inside of here the sample data doesn't really um, matter as much but let me go ahead and run this so this is here but i, I want to test the change that i made so i'm going to make some different data so i'm going to do uh, vi 504. Um, test. I can name things anything. It, it doesn't matter, but the naming of the file influences what's here. So it makes sense to name based on books, but if that changes, then the script still deals with it. So I'm going to do um, I'm going to do page three, right? um, comma, and I'm going to have anything and anything and anything a couple different ways and then i'm going to have four i'm going to put anything put five anything and six anything so i have uh, lowercase uh first first one and then this is just you know dumb test data but i do want to make sure that this is working the way that i would expect it to and so here what I get is a case sensitive array list rather than case insensitive. Now you see also here, consistent with our expectations, anywhere that anything is present, we have that there. Okay, so that's just a very quick modification, and I'll show you what I did again, just to make sure it makes sense. So in make index PL, I changed, 
and I can just do this colon set number inside of VI. It'll show me the line numbers of what's there. It's a nice shortcut if you're editing stuff uh, in VI. So I changed um, what was line 51 uh, to be this word equals pop temp, eliminating this LC because LC means lowercase. It is a function inside of Perl, which actually does that. 